Hey, what's, hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be covering um, a developing uh, situation surrounding a uh, former five-star uh, prospect that committed that signed with Texas A&M and transferred over to LSU this year, uh, Mr. Denver Harris. Uh, here's this article by Cody Nagel of 247sports.com. Uh, LSU five-star transfer cornerback Devin Denver Harris faces possible suspension for involvement in fight at practice. Um, it's not looking good for the Tigers' top-ranked transfer, and it's not. LSU could be without his top transfer, Denver Harris, for some time as the five-star cornerback faces a possible suspension stemming from his involvement in a fight that broke out at practice. Uh, Sonny Ship of Go247, for those of you that don't know, that's basically 247.com that mainly covers LSU athletics, just like how you end with the Sports Illustrated, you have certain... Uh, reporters that only cover uh, specific teams like All Gators Nation, All Gators Fan Nation. That's the Florida Gate, Florida Gators um, branch of Sports Illustrated. But anyways, uh, Harris had a pretty big role in that fight that took place at practice uh, before nearly instigating the issue further afterward in the locker room. Ship added that time away from LSU program is expected for Harris. Uh, Harris did not practice Monday or Tuesday and was noticeably absent from the LSU team photo recently posted by the Tigers. LSU coach Brian Kelly is expected to address reporters on Wednesday. And um, I guess it would be best for me to cover that uh, right after I, uh, his comments on that right afterwards. Um, L, uh, his, Harris ranked as the number two overall prospect when he was being recruited and the number two cornerback in the 2023 uh, transfer portal cycle. LSU also owns the nation's number two ranked transfer class with 14 newcomers. LSU beat reporter Wilson Alexander of NOLA.com detailed that a fight occurred during practice on Monday, August 7th. So this was about a week ago. Uh, punches thrown, guys take it to the ground, multiple people involved. Uh, Brian Kelly was not happy about that. That's, I'm sure he wouldn't be. LSU opens the 2023 season against Florida State on September 3rd in a matchup against preseason top 10 teams. Sorry, guys, I'm also looking for Brian Kelly's comments uh, while I'm reading this. Um, against preseason uh, in a matchup against uh, against preseason top ten teams, um, the top the non conference game will be played at Camping World Stadium in Orlando. Uh, Harris appeared in five games and did not make any starts as a true freshman at Texas A and M last season. He recorded fourteen tackles and three pass breakups. Harris was suspended by the Aggies twice during uh, his time in College Station. Once prior to the Miami. Once prior to uh, the victory that the Aggies had over Miami in week three of last season. And again, following a locker room incident involving two additional Texas A&M freshmen after a week eight loss um, at South Carolina. Prior to a second suspension, Harris saw action against Sam Houston State, Appalachia State, Arkansas, Mississippi State, and Alabama. He recorded a season high four tackles and a pass breakup in a loss to the Crimson Tide in week six. He also had three tackles against Mississippi State in week five. Uh, Harris entered the transfer portal on December 6th before committing to LSU on December 22nd. Uh, he has three years of eligibility and a redshirt year remaining. Harris rated as a four, uh, pros uh, four star prospect coming out of Houston, Texas, North Shore into the 2022 class. He was ranked uh, 45th overall as a recruit nationally and was ranked the seventh best cornerback nationally. He also ranked as the number eight overall prospect in the Lone Star State. He initially signed and enrolled at Texas A&M over finalists Alabama, LSU, and Texas. So he went back to a team that was going after him before. Now, here's the thing. Not only was he, um, I believe in the Miami game, it, he was suspended, if I'm correct, was because apparently there was a marijuana issue in the locker room where I guess he and his players were like were caught smoking weed before a game played game was played and I don't remember and I don't uh, remember the details surrounding the locker room incident after they lost to um, South Carolina but another big incident he had and I'm going to play this right here was um he uh, was when he posted himself on IG live flying through a parking garage now I have this muted because I don't want to get the copyright notice for playing music in my video but here he is he's driving fast and crazy in a parking garage going absolutely insane and you can even see it it's buffering right now you can even see this person right here saying denver what the f 
And she said, and this woman saying, I'm guessing she meant hun, like short for honey, you tripping. She's literally telling this dude, hey, you're messing up right now. You shouldn't be doing this. Uh, here you go, bro, WTF. So uh, hopefully this thing, this buffering will stop pretty soon. But I have found um, Brian Kelly's comments on um, L on uh, Denver Harris after the mispractices. Uh, LSU sophomore cornerback Denver Harris is handling some personal matters and could to return to the field as soon as this weekend, uh, head coach Brian Kelly said Wednesday. Harris has missed three straight practices and did not appear in a team picture taken Monday. He had been rotating with the second and third team defense during the preseason camp. If he take Excuse me. If he takes care of everything, we could have him back this weekend. Uh, discipline issues filled Harris's uh, freshman year at Texas A&M. He, uh, he missed uh, curfew. Oh, okay, so there's even more. He missed curfew, um, uh, which forced him out of the season opener, in which Texas A&M was playing the aforementioned San Houston State. Uh, then a reported locker room incident last October caused the Aggies to, to definitely suspend him and two other freshmen. Um, he did not play a game, a game again for the Yankees. So um, this guy has had uh, quite a bit of trouble uh, over the last couple, got himself into a little bit of trouble over the last couple of years. And for some reason has uh, been uh, not exactly a, um, uh, a head, he's been nothing but a head case for the Yankees, for LSU and for Texas A&M last year. So um there's the story on Denver Harris. Uh, he's It's not looking good for him right now. And speaking of LSU players, my next video is going to be surrounded by a former LSU player. He's getting stalked by uh, a psycho. And uh, you'll see who that is in a minute.